April is Autism Acceptance Month. In its most recent research, the CDC found one in 44 American children has some form of autism spectrum disorder, which makes communication, learning, and human connection difficult. Given the disorder's rising prevalence in recent years, most of us know and love someone with autism, and support systems for them get better by the day, thanks to groundbreaking organizations like Autism Speaks. In our Sunday Spotlight, Harry Smith introduces us to one man with autism who has found his place in the world at center stage. It took a while for him to realize, but for most of his life, Mickey Rowe has been an actor in search of a role. So I had to street perform to make money because uh, no one else really wanted to hire me, but right. I figured I could hire myself. Yeah. So I would stilt walk all over here at Pike Place Market, Get out. twisting balloons for kids yeah. or juggling knives. <laughs> and, Seriously? Mm -hmm, and that's what I had to do with a hat out uh, to make money. As a person with autism, Roe has long sought to fit in. To him, the neurotypical world felt foreign, often frightening, but not if he put on a costume. It is a way to get people's attention. And I think what I loved so much about it is, as an autistic person my whole life, people have often felt really uncomfortable around me. But whenever I was street performing here, everyone who saw me smiled. In his book, Fearlessly Different, Roe writes of his difficult childhood, of his struggles in school, until a visit to the Seattle Children's Theater. As an autistic person, I didn't get a lot of social interaction in my life. I all of a sudden got to experience all these really incredible, wonderful social interactions in a safe way. Turns out, the play is the thing. On stage, everything is scripted, predictable. Roe immersed himself in the Seattle theater scene, but as an adult, he found there were no parts. A local casting director told him about the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, the much celebrated award-winning book and play. And that she felt the main character in this play and in this book was me. So she thought it would be really important for me to read the book and see a story about someone who was, she felt was like me. So what'd you do? I was trying to figure out how I could get an audition for this play in New York City when I lived in Seattle. I had no agent. In desperation, Mickey sent an email to the Broadway show. Improbably, it got him not one, but two auditions. He did not get a part. My hopes were completely dashed, and I did. I thought that it was all for nothing. But that dog in the nighttime refused to disappear. Two regional theaters, one in Indiana, one in Syracuse, offered Mickey the part of his dreams. I'm writing a story about who killed Mrs. She's dog. He won raves. I mean, we should all feel that we are wanted places because communities feel like we are an asset, not a liability. And this was the first time that I was truly embraced as an asset, not a liability. Yeah, you want to help me peel it too? Me feel it. Married in a blended family with four children, no. Mickey is remarkable. Whoa. For his determination, yes, but especially for his message to all of us. I think so often people want so badly to fit in that they forget what makes them stand out. So I really, really hoped that my book would help people to feel brave enough to stand out. Thank you. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Seattle. He is an inspiration. Harry, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.